Hello everyone, my name is Z and this is a quick day 10 recap video of my Coldblade Vortex character from the Path of Exiles Ancestor League and I can tell you we have quite a lot of changes. Before we continue though, YouTube tells me only 90% of you guys are subscribed. Can you please hit that sub button if you enjoy my content? Need to reach 1k subs to get the channel monetized. Thank you! In the last couple of days, I just played the game, mapped a lot, did low and medium investment mapping on my usual Harvey Strongbox Shrine Beyond Atlas over here. It is a pretty good strat. Many of us had success with it, as I have been told. The character is level 97. If we check our gear, we can see that we have the same crafted bow with double crit multi and chance to deal double damage. And now the changes. We have a new helmet with Blade Vortex Duration Enchant, with a lot of mana reservation efficiency and with double rarity and also a rarity craft. Now I wanted to make this helmet because I'm planning to run a lot of Delirious maps in the future and I wanted to increase my rarity to have a better chance of dropping tier like tier zero uniques like the Mage Blood. The mana reservation thing helps with us getting the eight auras I wanted. So yeah, right now we are running eight auras, but more on that in the future. Amulet, this is a, one of the next things I want to change. At the moment I am using it just because I have charisma on it and it's a decent amulet, so I'm gonna keep it for now. The Quiver is the same I had before with double gain and fist converted. The Ventors, this is a new one, it costed me 15 divines. It has a lot of resistances and rarity. This is my older one with nine quantity. Getting a 10 one will come eventually in the near future, but it's not a priority right now. Same Sadimas with elemental weakness, headhunter, and the gold wear with 8% increased movement speed. I had to buy it because I dropped Devotos and I kind of missed the movement speed that the Devotos had, got used to that. So I spent the five divines on it. My flasks are the same. Divination distillate, I can't really keep it up. So it is just a place for the, a placeholder for uh, progenesis. I am planning to, brand, to buy progenesis instead of this in the near future. The passive tree, quite a lot of changes over here too. To make to make it that we, you know, we can run eight auras, we had to buy two of these small cluster jewels with mana reservation efficiency and 35% increase effect. Now, if you know me from last league, you know I love these jewels, so yeah, I had to buy two of them so I can fit eight auras in. Two more changes over here are Forbidden Flame and Forbidden Flesh combo with Heart of Destruction. This combo costed me like 30 Divines, but it helps us have big, big AOE on Blade Vortex now. Another change I did was Militant Fate. I replaced the old one and got one with elemental damage for 10 devotion and increased effect of auras for 10 devotion. We are running 10 auras, so that was a no-brainer. I also got pain attunement because we are low life now. So the chain the tree changed up a bit. I had to drop some life nodes. And eventually if I get 100, I will get I think this purity of flesh cluster back over here. On the gem spot. The new gem setups are BV and power 7, increase crit, power charge on crit, unleash and inspiration. Nothing changed there. In our helmet, we're running Divergent Vortex, Arcane Surge, Hex Touch, and Assassin's Mark. This is how we apply the second hex, like the second curse, to our targets. 
In the chest we have Enlightened Four, Hatred, Determination, Anomalous Petroblood, Herald of Ash, and Zealotry. In our boots we have Arrogance and Herald of Purity. This is how we get the life over here. We reserve the life, cast on the portal, and in Gloss we have Herald of Ice, Vitality, Flame Dash, and Enlighten. We need this Enlighten to be able to cast like Blade Vortex pretty well. We, we can do it without, but it's we are kind of running out of mana sometimes, so we need the second Enlighten over there. Yeah, as I said, these are quite a lot of changes. I'm going to prep for a like a pretty big investment video coming soon. So we're going to try out that and that's going to be maybe with the new Delirium Sextant. It's the new and old, but I am planning to start adding Delirium to my maps. And in the future, I'm going to add uh, like 40, 60 protest del Delirium on all our maps. And I'm gonna go crazy with like 600 quant stuff for home Stonebox monsters. So yeah, pretty interesting stuff coming in the future. For sure. Can't wait. And in the end I will just do a map for you guys quickly. So you can see what the build is about at the moment. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for being here. It does mean a lot. Keep walking exiles. The next map awaits you.